What's your name and where are you from? Deborah Johnson, Camano Island, Washington. Um, so knowing like, okay, when you first, you know, the power in the designer templates to help you to utilize your stash that you have, paper stash, other elements, like really is the tool to help get you to utilizing some of that to its full, a little bit more fully, right? And your scrapbooking. Then of course, I know, I guess what I'm saying is like, then, then why would you choose the Kiwi Club kit on top of that with the paper? Like, what is it that made you want that? Oh, well, I will take any paper that you guys create. So sometimes the color may not be to my taste. Sometimes the pattern may not, but I can flip, right? Then I can just go with more subtle and just use what was supposed to be a background or, or, um, you know, I love there, there's a member that has a little boy and she makes fabulous pages and. And everybody says, oh, the kits are so girl oriented and she keeps creating beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. She inspires me. I told her that. Yeah. So, um, okay. So the paper is incredible and, um, and that's taking a thinking step out of the way when I, so, um, in, uh, was it in August that we had a, um, we had a, you a sketch challenge, um, not using it just was a sketch challenge. Oh, yeah, I know. I guess mm -hmm. that for the anniversary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I had some really cute paper that wasn't Kiwi Lane. I'm like, great. I'm going to use the sketch. And I sat there for probably 45 minutes. I knew what pictures I was going to do, trying to make that paper blend as beautifully as Kiwi does. It just, it, I love how it goes together. And I too am predominantly doing a boy, but I'm working on the September kit right now. And, you know, I'm adding some floral and, and even with this little boy. Um, so it doesn't, it just, it, I love how it goes together and then the quality of it. And it cuts so nice and it cuts a nice quality. Um, you said that. And yeah, it is that time commitment, right? Like you realize you're seeing some of that heavy lifting being done for you in that case. And that's huge. So the boundary that we have, um, we are in a rural area on this island. So it's a major commitment to, you know, like back in the day, you guys went to the store and you were down on the floor. Yeah, I think you had a video of that yeah. or that was included in one of those yeah. I watched. Yeah. Yes. And so um, that's a a big deal for me to have to go and do that. So just having a kid arrive and now going through the process of, okay, so here's my inspiration. Now let's go dive into the pictures that we have. So and, not, it saves you time not going and shopping for figuring out how to match it all to your liking and stuff like that. You can trust that it's going to be done for you in that manner. Oh, well, really cool. and I would over, okay, I'm going to say this because I think it's huge. I would overbuy. Right. If I wasn't getting a club kit, I would, whether I was ordering online or I was getting off the island and going to a box store, because those are my options, mm -hmm. then I overbuy because, oh, that's cute. That's cute. That's, it's all cute. Yes, absolutely. And then decide I want, to use more of this one and not that one. So I definitely was buying multiples because didn't know how I was going to pull it all together. I mean, and what happened is I had store-bought paper, um, individual sheets that I thought I had matched well. And then it was compared to a Kiwi kit that is actually, I don't even know what process you guys go through to print. Um, I used to be in with clothing. I was okay. a buyer designer. So I went through those steps with clothing. Matter of fact, the August kit, that dark, abstract, mountainy paper, oh, uh -huh. I want that in fabric and make a man's flannel shirt in it. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to my past. Um, so I tried while while we were all joining together, um, pulling that together and 
now that I've been using Kiwi so much, it was like, it's lacking. It's mm. lacking. So it's like, uh, and then once I started looking through it, it's like, uh, forget it. I'm going to put all of my paper to the side and, and just, and use that kit. So Probably there with kit. your process that you go through, there's a, there's a known trust that within every pattern, it's all built to coordinate. Yeah, we do. We have a, a pretty, you know, some people say, oh, you probably should cut that process in half, but we want to make sure that we do a little bit of that heavy work lifting so that when you get that kit, that you can trust that it's going to have uh, some of the principles that we, we work off of. Right. But yeah. Yeah. So it's a process, but it's uh, a proven process and it's, it's definitely nice to pull out a kit. <laughs> I count on it too myself when I sit down the scrapbook. Like I said, if I want an easy evening of creating, I don't even, I don't even tempt myself to go to my paper stash. I'm just like, I, I know I'm going to pull out a kit. But like you said, there are times where I'm like, okay, I'm in the mood. I can do this, but I have to yeah. be in the mood to do that. Well, too. and I haven't done it yet. I, I found that very inspiring and I know it's a tool that I have to go back and the make some counts. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Good. I'm glad. 